Ready. Action. 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 <laughs> Action. Action. So, uh, we're going to talk about tree age today, but before we get started, can we split up into three different groups? So y'all can okay. kind of cut a line in the middle there. We have a group here, we have a group here, we have a group over there. How many people in the group? Okay. Y'all want to participate? Yeah. Even okay. Yeah, that was easy. So, okay. I brought some tree cookies today, and you can't eat these. Pass them out. So, can you guys tell me how old these trees are? Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody know how you would tell how old the tree is? Count the rings. Count the rings. Which rings? All of them? No. Every other ring? Every, every all other. other. Dark ones, only light ones? Every Why? Other. Because they grow a light one and a dark one every year. Right. <laughs> so just the outside of them. Yeah, that's uh, spring wood and summer wood or early wood and old wood, late wood. Late wood, yeah. So we're not going to go into that today, but, uh, so, how old, how old is yours? You're pretty old. Pretty old? How old is pretty old? I found it, like, I counted 30 until I couldn't see it no more. Yeah. I'm gonna come to y'all next over here, Kelly. I've always... I can You got yours? Yeah. All right, Caroline, what is, how old is yours? Mine is 3.8 years old. A 3.8 years old. <laughs> Show that up to everybody. Let's see that 3.8. I want to see the point .8. Okay. Yeah, nice. So I love it. I love it. Like three years old or some that are like 20 years old. Um, so how would we tell how old a tree is without cutting it down and making some tree cookies? Anybody know? Mm. Oh, I heard it over here. Boring. Yes, Corn. boring. Increment boring. So... You know what, what yeah. were you saying? What were you saying? You like, they have a tool that you drill and like kind of twist into it and you pull it out and it shows you the ring. Right, yeah. And that tool is called an increment bore and that's what we're going to be using today. And I think Anna and Tony are going to tell y'all how to use it. Um, uh, yeah, we have worksheets that I forgot about. <laughs> so, yeah, we we're going to pass those We're out. just going to give one to each group. Y'all can just kind of work together on it. But, uh, yeah, so the plan is, depending on time, we might go to a different set of pine trees, maybe. But each group is going to uh, bore it into a tree and figure out how old it is. And you can kind of look at the rings and maybe see if there were, like, some super fast growth years and some not fast growth years. That's the scientific term, I think. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so tell us how to use the right. board. So today before class, I went to Crystal. Okay. I could have went to McDonald's, I could have went to Taco Bell. I absolutely love Taco Bell, but I went to Crystal. Can anybody tell me why I probably got at Crystal? That thing. That's thing. They're the straws that have the little like dip things in them. The dip thing. Those are grease. Actually <laughs> actually I didn't. I just got a regular straw uh -huh. that came with my drink. Or whatever. But do you know what <laughs> that I probably what other uses could be used for the straw besides spitballs? Drinking. To drink your drink. To drink my drink. Actually, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, actually, you're right. But there's also another way that you can use it, okay? So and that way is when you use your increment bore, uh, after you bore core out the tree and everything, and you get this nice little thing right here. You can use it to keep your little, keep mm. little souvenir. Yeah, keep a little souvenir. Some straws. Safe, yeah, I hope everybody brought straws. <laughs> if you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or not. Yeah. But yeah, so that's the point. Yeah. But yeah, so once everybody gets uh, to the coring, this is what you should get. And you'll be able to tell the years of the rings, okay? And um, and if you have a straw, just just like on your own time, if you ever get the core tree, just make sure you have your straw. And you can just slide it on in there and keep it for a souvenir. Just pull out something cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, me and Tony are going to tag team this real quick and kind of show you how to do it. We also just learned how to do it, so it could be a little rocky. We'll see. Oh, 
It'll be, right. gonna be great. It'll be great. So this right here is the spoon, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. it um, it's called an extractor? Extractor. Yeah, it's called an extractor, okay? So we uh, core out a tree. Um, you want to make sure that this little thing right here can reach to the core, okay? If it can't reach to the core, then you're in trouble. You're not going to really, you're not, it's not gonna, accurate. It's not accurate, not at all. So you want to be able to get to the core. So Anna? All right, we've got our bit. bit. Is that what mm -hmm, that's bit, the right? bit. Okay, yes, <laughs> bit. And the bit will go in the handle. In the handle, which is the blue. And it all stores in the handle, which is nice and convenient. It goes in like that, and then you just clip it like that. Then you will go, you will approach a tree. <laughs> and and you, I, I thought it was going to go down somewhere. Okay, you can go in it straight or at an angle. We've heard both. So. Uh, yeah. I prefer the angle just so that I can I can see the rings a little bit clearer. They're a little bit wider to see, but it, it straight is good too. That's good. Get your stronger students on this one. That's right. That's what we do. Your strong, your strong teammates might have to. Yeah, yeah. But we all know the saying: righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you're gonna go right, and I might need some help. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. That's not going in. So do you try to hit the center? Uh, you want to go a little bit past. I'd go a little past, yeah. That's called, does anybody know what the center is called? The Other than the core. The what? The pit. Nice. There you go. Good deal. And that's what, if you, you can actually, what did you do with that? <laughs> you away. You have it. The you straw? Someone, they're passing Oh, so right. if you're looking at it right there, can you guess right? where the pit <laughs> is? Right there. So if y'all seen it already. This is going to be towards the end on this side, okay? you got to push and turn. I am pushing. <laughs> Seriously, no, you just, yeah. There you go. Slowly. What's going, Anna? There you go. There you go. Okay, I'm tired. Tony, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice little workout. Yeah, if, you, if you're trying to skip the gym. No, not today. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sam. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I think it's pretty. Oh yeah, be careful with this. We want it to stay straight. I can't remember why, but we do. Because it'll bend easy. Right. And then it will fit back in the, That's right. That's the right. handle. So don't put it, put it on the ground. There you go, Tony. Yeah, don't. Yeah, keep it in your hand. Keep it straight. Hey. There you go, Tony. <laughs> Smile, Tony, like on candid camera. <laughs> like All right. So when you're going in, this is a smaller tree, so I probably don't have to go as far as I would on one of these bigger trees. Um, so, uh... As well, you can kind of sort of eyeball it. You can use the... So you can sort of handle it. What? Eyeball it. And let's see, about how, is that about halfway? I can't really see. No, I got a little bit more, Tony. So, so I'll just, oh man. I'll just, they caught me off guard there. I'll just keep on turning. And if you're doing this, you can just make it a little song. Just keep turning. Just keep turning. Just keep turning. Who knows why we pick uh, pine trees instead of. Uh, mm -hmm. Excellent trees. point. Right. Excellent. Right. How about that? But I'm going to go a little bit further. <laughs> and when you do this, make sure you don't like turn it all the way up against the tree because then it'll be super hard to get out. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> then. We insert. But notice that upside she's down. inserting it upside down. Why would you might not want to insert it right side up? <laughs> First, before you twist it. If it's right side up. Okay. <laughs> okay, we put it in upside down because what we do is we do a Lucy turn back. <laughs> Lucy turn go. back to the left. And then because, so it's upside down. Flip it right side up, then it's good. Then the core will be in the spoon, right? Got it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And we pull it out. There it is. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and Beautiful. there. Here we go. Huh? Did you hit it, Tony? Uh, I don't know. You can tell by the ring. 
Yeah. Also, this is hot, so when you get this, um, it's kind of sort of like, yeah, be caught. Yeah, yeah. Pass it down. But yeah. So your pip is right there, so you can see it better on this side, a little bit on that side. Mm -hmm. All right. If y'all want to pass that around, just be careful with it because it's a little fragile. <laughs> All right. After y'all pass that around, who's ready to do it themselves? Nice. <laughs> Alright, so, um, when you, uh, yeah, it just takes a little minute to pull that out. So be careful with these, because they are, uh, they can get bent, and if they get bent, hey, it doesn't really serve the purpose too well. So just be a little, mm -hmm. little careful with this, uh, you can have a designated person to hold this or whatever. Um, and, uh, make sure you take turns twisting this, as you see, it's a little tough. So, uh, just uh, kind of sort of cite, your, cite what tree you think you might want to use to uh, to tackle. And, uh, yeah, be cautious of your limbs and everything. Good, uh, good, yep. Remember safety. in our tree safety class, we uh, made sure that we didn't just walk up under any kind of tree. I don't want anybody to get hurt today. Nurse, Nurse Jeannie already had a bunch of people from PE class the other day at the nurse's office. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nope, it's all up to you. I wouldn't pick a big one, but. Well, if you want to pick like a small tree, a larger tree, compare the ages. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Sorry, you don't have straws. It's okay. Yeah, and it smells good. Anyone else want this? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah. I like the way the team is visiting with the individual teams as a teacher to check in on them. Good job. Maybe tell them how long they have to do this. Just give them a time element. Okay. Okay, we did that T-post thing without the drivers. Yeah, we got this. I'm fragile. I dislocated one doing yoga one time. Relaxing. Yeah, trying to relax, I dislocated one. That is horrible because like you cannot breathe. Yeah, trying to push it is hard to can breathe. How's it going? <laughs> and if if I could make a recommendation, you know, you you know what? If you want to put it down a little bit lower. Just, I find that it, it's harder to turn, like, above your head. If you just put it a little lower, that might help you, too. That's okay. Okay? There you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. You kind of put your hips and do it a little bit. Kind of. Apply a little pressure every time you turn. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Good, good. Okay. Yeah, he's the strongest in this group. You don't want to look like you're straining. You don't want to look like you're straining. It's not, I got it, bro. Do a good We're here Casey. for moral support. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm here for moral support. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. <laughs> that guy right there. There he is. <laughs> like a tripod. <laughs> Come on, Casey. You got it. Push and turn, brother. Push and turn. Okay. Okay. Give it a try. It's hard to get through that bark sometimes, too. Yeah. It's okay. Get my, get my camera work here. Let's make this a little bit higher so I can see this a little bit better. 
30,000 years old. It just grew really yeah. hard. That's right. <laughs> it's the prehistoric pine, that's what we call it. That's what this is called. <laughs> and, and once you get through that bark, it's usually okay. <laughs> Wait, also they're pretty. Uh, we need to look at it. I couldn't get in. Tony had to do it for me. Yeah. Um, I was like really pushing too, and then I. <laughs> Is it jammed? Okay. okay. Sometimes it might be a piece of wood in there. You're right. That's kind of keeping other wood from going in. Yeah. That's good. That's. No, no, no. Okay. Come over here and visit with this team. Guys, okay? Did you get get it in there? Tony's helping us with that. I love that sound right there. Hear that sound when that thing starts going in? That's the sound of core in a tree. And Tony. Just to make another recommendation for you, if it's hard to, to screw it in with your arms up, you can put your arms down low. You can start it in lower, and it, it doesn't matter where on the tree you do it. So if you get if you get more umph behind it doing it lower, that's okay too. Okay. There we go, okay. Great. And as you're going through it now, once you get down into the core, you kind of sort of hear kind of sort of like a little crunch, a little pop. You listen to it. That's how you apply when you got to the core. Okay, mm -hmm. good. I agree. I agree. Good. Listen to that. It's good. Yeah, y'all heard that noise? Sound like a little. That was them popping through the core. Yeah. Okay. You heard it? Yep. Yeah. Same. Yep. Them popping through the core. Right. Right there. Yep. Oh, okay. It, sometimes it doesn't make that noise. Sometimes it, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good, good. Pass the pith. Excellent. Excellent. You might be able to see it better on the other side. You can go ahead and pick it up if you want to. Yep. So you can see the pit, right? Yeah. Alright, so what do we think about the ring? Okay. So you can tell how fast or how slow it has it has it has it been growing. It grew really fast in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now it's slowed down some. What kind of things do you think might could affect that? Weather. Mm -hmm. Right. So about how old is it though? Just pick one side of the ring. Like a pine beetle. That one's a bag of bad About 19 years old. About 19 years old. Yep. And you can see by every tree in the in this little area right here, it's probably about the same name. So, so pretty much by every tree in here. Also, it's, it smells really good too, hasn't it? And it's a sweet smell. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's it. 
Y'all want to do another one? Yeah, do it. Did you end up yet? Good. Oh, good, 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 good. Great. is also pretty sharp. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Take it out if you back out like a screw. If you put it together, it doesn't. It'll, it'll burn into your fingers. Words. Yeah. Yeah. Been there, done that. Oh, we got that on yeah. camera. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, we got mm -hmm. time for it. Better when you like grabbing hands. Yeah, we can pull them out real quick. Did y'all look at the age there? Yes. Okay. Seventeen. Yeah, he's got it right here. Okay. Good. Good. See, I'll pick a different tree of a different size and compare. Seventeen to nineteen in here. Yeah. Got a range. Don't do one that's like one inch in diameter. That one's right. That one's like an inch and a half. Does that count? No. Okay. Getting started. Oh yeah, yeah. Getting through the bark right there. I'm trying to. Okay. Easier to screw it in a little bit lower like it's that. Not, it's, not, it's not imperative. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you want to put it out on price. I really don't know if And, and just a, yeah, just another thing, gang, as a recommendation, I try to put it down a little bit lower just so you can get some oomph behind it. It's harder to turn if your arms are up. I try to get a little bit lower. You can do it right near the ground if you want to. It really, it, it uh, ideally, DBH is a good place to do it, but sure. Okay, good. That's a neat sound. That's a good thing to bring up too. Good, good. Yep. Excellent. And why do they want to grow so fast when they're young? To survive. To yeah, they gotta out compete stuff. Yeah, they gotta get up in the air closer to that sun fast. Yeah, good job. Yep. Did the other one? Were they closer or further? There were in the beginning. They were a lot closer, but they were about the same right here. Yeah. Good. Three trees.
Um, I'm going to see how far they are. See these worksheets there, Mr. Let's see. Let's compare. Like let's compare to what we got right here on the sheet right here. Let's compare to see what you're. What's on your? What's on your sheet right here? Is far as like what you're looking at. Let's compare to see what you're. What's on your sheet right here as far as how it's growing and everything. Is this the? You're like on a trail and you're looking at the trail. It is cool. All right, so A is going to represent fast growth, and B. So they didn't really for like a little bit slower growth down. for those oh, first yeah, yeah, couple yeah. years. So yeah, what like you think right here? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, why is this so <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What is, what is that Absolutely. Absolutely. What you think, Mike, can affect that? Resources. <laughs> <laughs> Got on your sheet over here, Cheyenne. Let's see. What are we collecting data on here? Okay. Yeah, I'm writing down. So the estimated age. Okay. And then the ring spacing. Okay. Good. How many years old is it? Let's see. Let's count. Let's see. This one. Okay. So. This one's not, this one's 18, and this one's 21. Oh, this one, oh yeah, it definitely looks bigger. I think that's part, partially why we picked it. Mm-hmm. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> Like you mean, like how far apart they are? Yeah. Well, as it gets older, I think it's like they're pretty close together, just like on this one. But like these are like really far apart. They're not really far apart, but they're farther apart here. And then they get closer together. So they go to the top. And the core looks like really dark, which is interesting compared to this one, where the core is like more of a ring. Like this core is like bam. So how can we think we can apply some of those key terms right there? Oh, what, yeah. we got right there? Well, what do you think is going to happen to the key terms? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. These last few years of growth, which one was growing better? Um, they're very, very that one. Yeah. Yeah. This one over here. Yeah, that one. Yeah. But they're all about yeah. the same age. And if you think about it too, there could have been runoff from the road, so this might have been a moisture area. Yeah. A little more sunlight. Mm -hmm. And you can look at also the crown ratio. The live crown ratio, that means yeah, what do you, you know, this is Yeah, that's nice. A little bit lower there, Emily. It's easier to screw in. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Ranger Nick. Yes, yeah. Does the, when you bore a tree, does it leave like a mark or something? So like when it gets bigger, you'd be able to say, oh, this tree's been bored. You, you can see that in the wood. Yep, you can see that okay. going through. Yep, okay. you sure can. And there are some people that, that believe that that can in, 
influence disease, something getting inside of there. I think it's, I mean, it happens, but I don't think it's a big deal. Right. It's just a, it's a fairly non-invasive way to, to measure a tree age. Yeah, I don't, you usually fold it back. But you will see that scar, just like when someone cores a tree and there's been a fire that's come through there. A lot of times you'll see a dark patch on that, on that um, core, on that wooden dowel rod. Mm -hmm from when that fire came through. You'll see a dark mark. And there's a lot of history to it, you know? Yeah. Cool. yeah. Fire scar, they call it, yep. Could have been an insect that went in there, yep. Pine bark beetles, a big thing in, in the south. And, yeah, southern pine beetle. So right at right, 30, just let you guys know 30, okay. Okay. We're coming back over here. Okay, great. Migrating. Okay. Good. So we're right at 30 here. Good. than I thought, actually. Well, they were that all about the same hmm. age, but they were different sizes, right? Mm -hmm. Hopefully, y'all got some different sizes. So, why would that be? Well, why, why would they be different sizes, but about the same age? They were all planted at the same time. They were all planted at the same time. Yeah, but they're different sizes. So. So, some are more exposed to light. Right, so some have more light, some mm -hmm. have more resources, water, good. or whatever. So, Facing. Could be genetics, yeah, so too. all the stuff that we've talked about before. Could be, yep. Could be. Um, sure. I think it'll have activity for us. All right, in your <laughs> packets, there's a paper that says, uh, draw your own tree cookie. I'm going to hand out a few extra ones so other people can participate in that. And so I want y'all to um, draw a cookie based off your life. Like, if you're 21, draw, like, 21 rings, and, like, if something impacted your life, think about how that could change the spacing between the rings. And then you can go around and kind of share. Good. Yeah, it would have been easier to start her little. Hey, can I have one too, Emily? It's, uh, just for your team. Oh, actually, do you? The, I'll take this and then I'll. Can I have one of your packets too, just for my notes too? I'll give that back to you. Oh, it does. Okay, thanks, thanks. Mr. Madre, can I have one of your handouts? Do you have any extras just to just to have? We did. We had like several extras. Okay, good. I just want it for my notes. I'd like to see. That's great. Thanks, Emily. I appreciate it. I just want to take it for my notes. Thanks, guys. Okay. This is the how perfect of a circle can you draw a contest. Oh, wow, that's pretty, pretty <laughs> yeah, good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's this okay, is, not all trees are round. This is where college affected me. <laughs> <laughs> this little lump right here. That's right. It would have been on the outside. That's the most recent. That's your dad's. Oh, where's your dad's? Check this out. <laughs> All right. We, we, we did. We did a good job. Yeah, we did one. <laughs> what you got over here? Show, show uh, us. Show us. Show us. Show us. Hers is better. Yeah, show us. What's that? A tree, drew a tree cookie? Oh, good. Yeah. Prime P6. Oh, nice. Oh, I can't have to tell me more about that. Oh, that's great to know. Gosh, did they enjoy it and everything? Yeah. Thinking about that's a, a project learning tree. They have that in their curriculum too. I don't know. Is that where you got that from, or is just yeah? It's great. They do it on like a paper plate. They usually do, you know. we just add paper. Yeah, yeah, great. That's great. Yeah. So that they didn't have very many rings on their tray. Maybe. That well, it was P6, P7. So they had about 10, 11 rings. Okay. All right. And I let them like, put it if they had holidays or something within them. So we all got to share. Oh, that's cool. Right to here, right, right to here. Does anybody have theirs done already? <laughs> We're going to pretend like you did it, okay. so don't worry about it. All right. Um, oh, you can finish it at home and bring it back to class tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is, is there the like homework. an event this is your that homework. maybe yeah. you could show through the spacing that like impacted your life or your like development, I guess? <laughs> anybody have a birth <laughs> 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 Like maybe if you went through middle school and that kind of challenged you and had you maybe had a hard time with that, like you could draw your spacing um, like shorter together. Uh, so this kind of represents the trees' lives. If they're um, if the rings are closer together, that means they had a harder growth year. If they're spaced out, that means there's an easier growth year. And so. Um, your teams are going to turn in your packets. There's like a little um, question at the bottom or like a summary that you um, write about what we learned in class, and y'all can just turn them in after you're done. All right. All right, let's go Is that good? Is that it? Yeah. Let, let's give them a hand. Give them a hand. Very good. Very good, team. I will hit the stop button.